How is everybody? All right. Are you ready to laugh? Good, because I'm not funny, but there are some people here who are funny. We have an outstanding group of conics who are here to make you laugh. I have a surprise for you ladies. I found them. <laughs> it has the holes included, everything. You know, most comics sell CDs after their show. Well, I'm selling coochie, get your coochie clean kits. $10 over in the corner after the show. I don't even know why women don't like nice guys. See, the old saying says, nice guys finish last and women get pissed off when we finish first. I've never craved a salad so much in my life. My dad is 10 years sober, which means he's no longer fun. There are so many good looking brothers here tonight and gangsters and everything. I I drove up from Portland. I had no idea that Bellevue was the hood. It's awesome. It's awesome. She asked me my name. And I looked up and I said, Roger. He looked down with the shades and said, Damn. How you doing tonight? Let's make a little bit of noise. I'm not going to point the person out, but I know what your shoes look like. It's a traumatic brain injury, so shit's going to get sprayed tonight. Uh, come on! Okay, he's through. Alright, I can go ahead and let mine out now. Boop. I went swimsuit shopping recently, and I saw that all the swimsuits had skirts on them, and it said, Thunder is a problem, we have a solution for you, skirt. I was like, that is not a solution. That's like going up to a friend and saying, hey, I see you have cankles. I have a solution for you, socks. And she gets right in my face, and she says, are you hitting on my squirrel boy? I just, Nope. She grabs my face like a basketball and throws me through the doors of the place. Thank God there were six inches of cigarette butts out there to catch my, my fall. All right, that was a little stupid, all right. Oh, come on, I, I recognize the judges. That really confused me, but I didn't get to see the swastika until she had me in the damn headlock, and it was four boners bent in half. I was messing with a feminazi. I don't enjoy watching porn anymore. I don't. For me, basically, here, here's porn. It's basically like starving to death and then watching a video of somebody else eat. But I do wish President Obama would hurry up and just show his, uh, his, just his natural black ass, you know? Do something like real black, you know, to show his real black side. Hell, turn the Air Force One into a soul plane, you know? Put some rims on that bitch and let it roll up off the runway. And get him a Rottweiler, get a black dog, you know? <laughs> a pet bull or something. What's a kadoodle? Brother asks you out on a date, you're like, oh, okay, fine. I expect him to show up in a shiny car, take me to a fine restaurant, and treat me like the queen I am. A brother takes me out on a date, I'm like, okay, I've got gas in my car, money for dinner, and possibly his rent. Um, I have more in common with you than you think, because a brother messed up my credit too. And yeah, he left me for some skinny white hoe too. They say you go black, you'll never go back, and that's the God's honest truth. Because I don't have any money left to get back. I also dated a guy who was deaf, so I have to write everything down for him because I was too lazy to learn sign language because I figured we're in America, you learn my language. The winner of week three of the Got Funny comedy competition, Sharon Lacey! <laughs> Thank you so much. This is awesome. Give her a big round of applause. By the way, for the brothers in the audience, this means she has a chance at 500 bucks. If you don't have your rent money, then you get the hook up right here. I want to give one more time a round of applause for all of our comedians. And uh, we'll be back again with you next week. <laughs>